a vigil outside the state house tonight. Thousands gather to mourn immigrant lives lost and to fight for those who are trying to come into our country. This weekend, President Trump has directed ICE to begin raids in at least 10 U.S. cities. The raids would focus on immigrants with outstanding deportation orders. Tonight, Mike LaCrosse shows us why demonstrators call it a battle for human dignity. Several hundred people took over the Boston Common tonight to let President Trump know they disagree with his immigration policies. I don't want to sing about suffering and pain. Protesters gathered in cities all over Massachusetts and across the nation tonight for the Lights for Liberty vigil, calling for better immigration policies. They're not criminals. They're just coming here to to find a better life. The protesters say they're mourning those who have died in custody and those who died while trying to come into the United States. We need to decriminalize migration. The demonstrations come ahead of the Trump administration's crackdown on illegal immigrants. ICE raids are planned for this weekend. We are really specifically looking for bad players. Vice President Mike Pence was on the southern border today touring a new detention center where families are being held. Each and every one of the children, each and every one of the parents that I spoke to told me they were being treated well. Pence's visit comes as Democrats on Capitol Hill are examining the administration's treatment of migrant families. Children being separated from their parents in front of an American flag. We cannot allow for this. Meanwhile, protesters here in Massachusetts are hoping local lawmakers can also help make a change. We need to be lobbying our legislators to pass the Safe Communities Act here in Massachusetts. Several more protests are set to happen around the country tomorrow, and there'll also be more immigration events here in Boston as well. Reporting from outside the Statehouse, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.